So he's just come back from his holidays and yeah. he looks amazing. Thank I you. I mean, this is like absolutely when horses are coming out of the winter, um, have had some time off, this is just perfect. So yeah. I would say for the moment, whatever it is you're doing, don't change it. Because <laughs> he does. He's just like, yeah. Yeah, and we're really fantastic. pleased with the way that he looks. He's actually been on haylage while we've been away, whereas we normally yeah. feed him on hay. So would you recommend to, to keep that as it is? I think haylage is brilliant. Um, the one thing I would say about haylage, especially is you've had him on, you know, he's been on hay at home, um, is just to make sure that the haylage you get is a dry haylage. So what you don't want is to have some of these haylage haylages that feel a lot wetter mm -hmm. um, and sometimes the wetter the haylage it can be a little bit sweeter so the horses you know they find it really palatable and yeah. they'll really go for it um, but if you've got a wetter haylage then what can sometimes happen is the droppings get a little bit looser mm -hmm. and that's just down to the fact that they're not getting enough of the dry matter so enough bulk yeah. but if you get like a good nice dry haylage and um, if you sort of squeeze it in your hand it will feel a little bit damp but mm. it doesn't want to feel wet yeah. um yeah absolutely brilliant and then in terms of quantity yeah because sometimes the common mistake that people fall into is because generally haylage will have a higher energy and protein content yeah is that they think that they can feed less of it mm -hmm. when really what you want to be doing is keeping that haylage intake right up so feeding it ad lib as you do yeah. with your hay um, and what it may allow you to do is to actually cut back on the concentrate feed okay but if we sort of work together on that and yeah. see how things go because what will determine if we need to cut back on the concentrate feed will obviously be one his energy levels for the yeah. work so if you feel that he's getting a little bit too above himself yeah. you've got a little bit too much there then we'll need to cut the concentrate feedback and also as well with his condition because he looks absolutely fabulous and I'm mm -hmm. just so pleased with how he's held his top line yeah. and the coverage across his back and his quarters um, and so what we don't really want happening is that he gets any heavier than this so again yeah. if he did start looking like he was gaining a bit too much we'd have to cut back on the concentrate feed um, and if we cut back on the concentrate feed, then we'll just need to make sure that we're topping up on the vitamins and minerals. Yeah. So we might need to consider at that point adding in a feed balancer or even changing to a feed balancer, yeah. depending on how good he's the behaviour is and how good he's yeah. feeling. So I think for the moment, you know, absolutely, if you want to change over to Haylage and he's been on it and he's obviously done exceptionally well on it. Yeah. Um, fine absolutely fine um, we can do a haylage analysis so if you if you get your haylage in and then we know exactly what we're dealing with um, concentrate feed keep it the same so, yeah. and we'll just monitor the progress with it and, and work with it um, but yeah I mean he it, he looks brilliant and I think the nice thing is is that seeing him look this well and then from your point of view and with his sort of history previously to you know have a tendency perhaps sometimes not to eat if he goes away or get a little bit a bit nervous a bit nervous he can actually he's got some condition there that he can afford to lose so yes. it's not like we're going to suddenly go oh my goodness yeah, yeah he looks like he's tucked up or he's dropped so yeah. we've actually got condition there that we can work Play with it. yeah yeah um but absolutely perfect if we can hold him and just to, it's just toning up mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so a really a starting point, and yes, and you look so fabulous, my golden um, boy. So, <laughs> yeah, I think for the moment we stick, yeah, stick yeah. with what we're doing, and we just like take it through the stages as you bring him back and see how we go, and see if we need to think about a feed balancer. Yes. <laughs>